lizard in the garbage can. I want to talk to you about my Geico quote. Do you even relax, bro? So familiar. Let me ask this question of you. How do you relax? My favorite way to relax is to get to a spot that I want to film, find a nice place to sit, like this nice palm tree encrusted bench over here, and then do the bulk of my research on whatever subject today would be about, and just relax in nature. Trees around me, just breathing in the air, in the vibe of the area. Some people drive all over the place. A nice classic way to do it would be those guys. Some people, like D-Man, he bikes all over the place. Some other people, they walk. And those bronze shoes right there belonged to the woman who walked, Wanda Hutchins Fisher. Let me not follow the clamor of the world, but walk calmly in my path. I thought I said faith for a little bit. Give me a few friends who will love me for what I am. And infirmity overtake me, and I come not without the sight of the castle of my dreams. Teach me still to be thankful for life. I think these were her actual shoes? The bronze? I've never seen an adult pair of bronze shoes before, I don't think. Lots of baby ones. Not so much adult shoes. They don't do that much, do they? But she was said to, after her husband died, she lived on for 15 more years. And instead of becoming codependent in another person and going off to like a home, she instead did everything herself. And it's said that she walked up and down this bit of road right here millions of times, some people say. And that's why this memorial placed in this such a spot. So that walkers just like her could stop on their journey and get a nice cold drink. Maybe pick up a book. Multitask. Maybe they can walk. Maybe that's like <laughs> the old Persian version of texting. To some, she was the nicest, most generous person they've ever met. And she walked everywhere. Every time she was offered a ride, she would say, no thanks, I'll walk. Hey. What's up? Oh yeah. No, I like that old style. I always have. It's gonna be yours though? Yeah. 16. Yeah. Hell, right now, so. hell of a present. You got a you got a bit of time to work on it too. Yeah. Well, what about this one? Yeah, this is a Volkswagen my dad used to drive. Oh cool. He wants to fix it up, but... I see him running all over the place. I've seen more Volkswagens yeah. in the south than I have anywhere else. It's pretty popular here. Yeah. Scare me though. Because you're sitting on the gas tank. Yeah. What's your name? Rockwell. Alright. Good to see ya. Meet ya. I'm making a skateboard ramp over here. <laughs> he came out, he saw me filming his old cars and he gave me a tour. He said that this car used to be his old father's. He drove it the whole time when he was a kid. And now he's going to give it to his kid in three years when he turns 16. You can see the old Chicago tags on here. 93. That's when I was born. Here's the founder of North Augusta, James Jackson. <laughs> Almost as small as James Brown. Takes a lot to pull off a mustache, I think. It always reminds me of like a street sweeper or something. Chimney sweep. Crazy to think that all these places had trolleys, though. All of them. They all had mustaches, too. Look at that. Look at that. He had a house, which is that guy right there, made in 1902. Stayed in the family till the 1980s. It's now a historical hotel of sorts. These guys are having a bit of fun. Definitely not something you see every day. Same place. It's now a historical inn. Still looks badass though. Imagine that being your house. Bring them from the side too. Look at this. 
kind of reminds me. I was watching Good and Bad in the Garden of Evil. The mustaches, the gigantic houses, and a movie set in Savannah. Yeah, I don't believe that one is. I think this one is Rosemary Inn. It was called the Rosemary, wasn't it? Look at it. Damn, imagine this being your house. What do you even do with all that space? Wagon wheel? Savannah's not the only place that's haunted. We can see the old residents just rocking away in there. Adds to the ambiance for sure. It actually used to be the Hampton Terrace Hotel until it burned down in 1916. Perhaps the most interesting thing on this land over here is in 1876 there was a battle between a militia that was all black and a hundred white men. Of these, six black men were killed and one white. This is a statue to the one white man that was killed. On July 8th, 1876, 26, uh, 23 year old man named Thomas McKee Merriweather. Side note tangent, the car insurance on Grand Theft Auto V named Merriweather. He gave his life that the civilization builded by his fathers might be preserved for the children, children, unimpaired. He died so white people could always rule. I mean, this is like, I mean, it, it's super cryptic, but you can tell. <laughs> now that I think about it, the tip of this monument is fitting. History, baby. That's what's up. I think no matter how dark the history it's always good to know your history because those who don't know their history damn to repeat it kind of a psycho when it comes to productivity though i always want to see what i could also be doing in space of something else at the end of the day though when it comes down to it, I always relax in my beanbag chair. Ugh. Get out of the car and relax in my beanbag chair. And my car actually makes a nice shady spot. I parked here specifically because I said that sun is going to hit that sign and there's not going to be anything. So if it's 80 over here, it's a good 60 right here. In this weather over here, it does get a bit chilly. Relax, you know. And I've got my Pac-Man light that I turn on when I come in here. And it really gives for a nice mood. He's back there, you see him? I love him, he's really great. And he'll show you a show you never seen before. Like this. Now part of my multitasking involves getting a workout in this Planet Fitness while uploading a video and catching up on my favorite YouTubers videos. Whether that be those of the Beam Squad. I like our little family community over here. Gotta catch up on those guys first. Then I'll hit the uh, massage chairs. I can edit forever. I can edit for five hours and it'll go by like... That's what they call flow, right? When you're doing something you love, the time just flies by, you know. <sighs> you, you relax on one of those guys? One of those couches? You're just lying around? Remember to relax. It's always good to get a load off. Need a 